Hello everybody, it's me. I won't say where I am, I'm outside somewhere in an area of the city that's not mine. And yes, I'm on an excursion again. Managed ten and a half weeks. But as I've been saying, the pulls have been very strong. And uh, earlier today, I just couldn't fight anymore. So, I'm far from home and I'm in an altered state. I don't know what I'm going to do. But, I will do everything I can to get home safe. In spite of how, at this point, I don't want to stop. And that, that's what happened last time too. But, the pushes, my kids, of course, my friends, podcasts, wanting to push my, publish my work, are what will hopefully bring me back to the next return. Keep you posted. Bye for now. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm, uh, I'm still, I'm, you know, uh, I'm still out, not, not at home with the kids yet, but I took the first step, and uh, I'm not going to go into details as usual on this, but um, I did have some stuff left, and I threw it out, you know, because I knew that if I still had it, even if I got home safely, I would do it at home like I did last time with the kids. Uh, you know, well, not with the kids, the kids in the living room and me in the bathroom. And uh, and I just didn't want to start that whole thing. And, uh, you know, uh, so I, uh, I threw it out and I sleeping, slept, not really slept because the stuff keeps you up, but I've... Uh, Four or five hours. I walked around as I showed you before, and now I'm 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 on the back seat of the car. Uh, had a chance to go back to party with some people, but I'm really glad I threw out the stuff. And uh, could have got more, but I'm like now that I'm sober. Uh, I want to head back to the kids and start again day one. But if I was to go back, the location, and I'm not going to say where and what and what circumstances, but uh, if I was to go back in, whole cycle will start all over again. And I'd be going until, well, you know, my money ran out and then this is a long way to cab. And then, you know, then I would have been back in the car and I have to make that first step. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait a little bit more. And it's daylight now. And I'm, I'm pretty much able to drive. You know, it's, it's uh, time, time. You know, the time has passed. I didn't sleep, but I rested. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time, you know, and then head back to the kids. Wish me luck. I start all over again. But I've done it before, I'll do it again. The goal is now to try to beat 10 weeks if I can. It's gonna be hard, very hard. I wish some form of fucking rehab would work for me, but, uh, but after the last time, uh, when I'm in bad shape, I start thinking of rehab. But then, when I've done a few days, I. I start thinking about it, re you know, kind of rationally, and I'm looking. We have not, you know, even the rock star rehab. Not, it just wouldn't work for me, you know. I'm, I'm a semi-feral, solitary cat, so I do these things. I, I'll do it on my own, or I won't. And right now, it looks like I won't. But at least this time, 
I didn't go, I went further into shadow than ever before, but uh, it's, you know, it's more limited. Uh, last time it was like three, three binges, three nights, well, it's possible that it will, you know, start again, but I hope not, you know. So, but I took the first step and I, and I had the chance to go back party more and I didn't. And I threw out, that takes a bit of effort for, for a junkie, but I threw out stuff. So, back to one day at a time. And the reason I did that was mainly the kids, it was the bushes, the, you know. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the kids. I don't know whether I'm going to post this. I'm, the back seat of the... It's a good thing the 430 is a big back seat because I was able to spend three hours, you know, coming down, sobering up or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, bye for now. <sighs> Nutty Prof is down again. Uh, but... I will. It's not. It's not up and down. It's the, it's the journey, and it's the. Uh, it's the confronting of shadow. The hard part is integrating. We've discussed this before, and uh, the whole alchemy aspect, which I discussed with my analyst. There's more details on that, but I can't share that. Anyway, uh, bye for now. Talk to you when I get home, hopefully. Bye for now. Even now, so just a couple of minutes later, but even now, the pull is because there is still a chance. I mean, location where I'm at, I can get more stuff where I'm in the car, the parking lot of the location. So even after throwing out the stuff, saying no when uh, somebody calls saying are you still around or you know you want to come back or get some more stuff if you threw out your stuff uh no i'm like no i'm like but the pull is still there i mean all i have to do is i mean it's the parking lot there's a location very nearby here i mean i can see it from where i'm lying so, in spite of all the pushes and, you know, how bad things got again, and the kids waiting for me, I'm tempted to go to, to call and say, look, give me, give me some more stuff, I'm going to come back in. But I'm not going to do it. Because I think I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. This is just really incredibly, 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 incredibly tough. But I guess that's the point. You know? Anyway, I'm not going to wait too much longer here because I may end up calling and saying, yeah, give me stuff. But, uh, Kids, friends, podcasts, publishing manuscripts. I can't stay in the underworld and not return to the ordinary. And, you know, my friends were very worried last time. If I post this, they're going to be even more worried. But, uh... I'm recording... The the, the 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 struggles for people to see what addicts go through, you know, and how and I think you've also seen how tough those ten weeks were. The pulls were just at times. Oh my god. Anyway, one minute at a time. Hopefully, your next my next podcast will be from. My next footage will be home with the kids, if if I can 
do that. If I can actually just a little bit more time, not too much more time, because if I stay here too much longer, I'm going to change my mind. And I'm, I'm okay to drive now. It's been a few hours. I rested. I walked. Anyway. Bye for now. Wish me luck again. I suppose the news is good in that after I last uh, taped, uh, I spent a little bit more time in the car, and then I was like, going, "If I stay here, it's going to be. I'm going to. I'm going to call back and say, you know, get more stuff." So, uh, and I was okay to drive. It was. It was been a few hours, and I rested, and uh, so I. Uh, and uh, it was traffic. It was morning. It was fine. And so I uh, had an uneventful drive home. And uh, I've just parked myself because it's not uh, valet times right now. Uh, it was before uh, it's 6.30, I think. It's before 7. So um, now, poor kids. But this is the main, these are the main pushes. If it hadn't been for the kids, I, I would have still been there, no question. Yeah, so uh, even that, I mean, left the kids alone for like, you know, a whole night. <sighs> Sorry, kids. Anyway, I hope they're okay. I'm going to be up. I'm wasting time. I'm going to go see them. But uh, but it's because of the kids that they gave me the strength to leave, to drive back. Otherwise, I'd, I'd still be there. No question. No question I'd still be there. Anyway, bye for now. Okay, I'm back. And the kids are okay. They're, you know, they know that I've been struggling. You know, but uh, they were okay. They came out when I opened the door, and Agita's there. So, sorry kids, I just couldn't resist the dragon anymore. I, uh, I told you when I was going out that I was going to, you know, I was going to binge, but uh, I was going to try to be careful and come back. I don't know about the careful part, but I did come back with a lot of difficulty. A lot of difficulty, and mainly for you guys. Because I did have a chance to stay there, you know, uh, to go back. Uh, but uh, by a narrow margin, you guys won. So uh, that goes to show, um, you know, how strong the pull must be. Because I love you guys more than anything in the world. You're the biggest pushes to me. You're my family. You're the reason that I put the effort into returning. And it was still, you you, you know, coming home was by a narrow margin in spite of that. You know, that goes to show just how strong the pull is. Anyway, back to day one. So uh, I'm now going to, uh, you know, I was supposed to go to the country today to get work done on the Cadillac, but there's no way. Obviously, I'm going to call it a cancel. And the grass will probably get too big, but by weekend, I might be able to go cut the grass. So um, I'm, uh, I'm just going to now rest. I'm just going to return, you know, you remember how difficult the last return was? Well, this one, in some ways, even though, uh, and this was the first day, I'm hoping it's not going to turn into like three days like last time, but uh, uh, this this time was deeper into shadow in some ways. Again, I don't talk about details. It was, uh, in some ways, deeper in, into shadow. Uh, so it's going to be harder to return. They, they, the excursion seemed to be getting deeper and deeper, you yeah? Uh, anyway, my my friends are not going to be happy, you know. Uh, I'm not happy, but I'm back, and uh, yeah, my friends did play a role too because they were, you know, when when I had to make that decision, do I go back up? And uh, number one pushes were the kids, but then the second was, you know, how upset my friends are. They're going to be upset when they see this anyway, but. Uh, can't help it, you know, I, I I need to record this for, you know, for people who don't understand what addictions are like, you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, how very strong the pulls are. And if you've been following the podcast, you probably saw this coming because, you know, it was, it was on the way. I don't know how I made 10 and a half. It's a couple of hours later and look at this, you know, um, they're so relieved that I'm safe. And I gave them fresh water. I cleared the litter boxes. I gave them dry food. 
I don't have the energy right now for uh, opening cans and wet food, but they've got dry food, and uh, the main thing for them is that I'm home and I'm safe, you know? And I'm, you know, so I'm not in a hospital or a jail or worse or something. So um, uh, I will get them, I'll give them wet food after I uh, have a nap. Uh, I'm, I think uh, I'm almost at the point where I can sleep now. So, and uh, I've just been, uh, you know, processing or, you know, return, the first, the very first step of the return. Well, the first step of the return was getting out, you know, and getting back, you know. So this is, I guess, the second step. This is, you know, uh, home with the family, with, with, with the main pushes, the more main reasons why I left, you know, why I want to come back, you know. So that's what, uh, 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 and they're, they're settled here, and we're just going to go to bed in this room. I called my mechanic and cancelled the appointment for uh, uh, the car today. It was no, no way I could go, you know, obviously. You know. So, one minute at a time? No, maybe more one hour at a time because I've just, I just, I just came back, and um, uh, it's not the cravings aren't as strong as they were before because all the shit happened, and uh, and I think that um, the wind was a uh, minor win, small, very small, you know, but uh, was being able to, uh, no, uh, to to get away, you know, to to throw away the substance, you know, and uh, having an opportunity to go back and not going back, you know. Uh, now, one of the the people that I were, you know, I'm, I don't talk about the people that I party with, you know, it's privacy and, you know, all of that stuff, but I will say that, you know, they were concerned about me, they were, you know, there was a, there was, there is a concern, and you know, you can't stereotype. That's what I keep saying. You can't stereotype people from, you know, addicts or whatever you want to call, you know, people struggling. What I call strugglers. You can't say all strugglers are this or that, you know. Um, so anyway, there, there, and everybody has their own issues and their own struggles, you know. But uh, there was some, there was some concern for me. So some worry. So. I'm looking out know, with, with with complete strangers, so that was uh, uh, that was it was interesting, and and as I said, that uh, managing to throw out the stuff and uh, and get home, uh, you know, sleep in the car and then come home, that was that's a win, small one, first step. Bye for now. Hello, everybody. It's me, the Nutty Professor. And it's a few hours later, uh, after the previous uh, footage, I uh, tried to sleep, but I couldn't. And that's not surprising. Uh, that's kind of normal in, in this stage of the return process because uh, of the stimulant. But I did get some rest. So I'm gradually uh, entering this next phase of the uh, uh, return. I'm here at home, safe with the kids. So we've got Agitha there. Nicely settled in her playpen. And we've got both the babies very nicely settled in the dining room. So we got one baby there. <laughs> one baby there. And we got one baby there. So, um, I'm going to uh, edit and post. I debated a bit about whether to post some of the more kind of disturbing uh, footage from when I was still struggling, still on the binge, because it really upset my friends last time to see that. And they, a couple of them said, you know, that was really hard to watch. <sighs> but I think I, I need to post, uh, because this is a record of the journey, of, you know, my journey. And I want people to see how arduous the return process is, you know, uh, and the whole relapse thing and the pulls and the, uh, as I've, uh, if you've been watching these podcasts, you'll know that over the last four weeks, the pulls have just been out of control. You know? So uh, this 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 binge was was you know it was coming. Yeah. So now what next? Uh, so. It's one minute, one hour at a time, not one minute at a time. And what next? Uh, the kids, the usual, the you know, their uh, podcasts, the eating out, the all of that stuff. 
plus I think this time I have got to write because in these uh, uh, podcasts I can't give a lot of the details they're, they're you know privacy issues and they're, they're just too personal however in writing I can put everything down and if I ever get to the point of uh, you know, publishing manuscripts then everything then you know can be fictionalized, uh, locations changed, you know, obviously names changed, and, you know, uh, uh, disclaimers and all of that stuff. So, uh, and at this point, I'm not really, I'm not focusing on uh, trying to publish. However, I, and I discussed this with someone last night, I mean, you know, in terms of my reasons, my purpose of, of, of returning, of, of staying here. And one of them is I do want to eventually publish, you know, uh, you know fictionalized or whatever to protect uh, myself and other people. But uh, I do want uh, people to see the 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 uh, the, the aspects of uh, the underworld that uh, you know in a non-judgmental way. Uh, and as I said, people were concerned about me, you know, uh, a stranger. And there's a code. There are codes, you know. Uh, so the whole so-called, you know, what uh, uh, a struggler that I knew before uh, referred to Alex as dusty dumpster rodent weasels. Like, uh, uh, there is a dusty dumpster rodent weasel code, you know, the slithering and all of that stuff. The, uh, so uh, uh, I I do want to eventually publish, you know, uh, and the unspeakable horrors and unimaginable delights are getting, are they are uh, increasing. Uh, so it, as the binges progress, uh, the levels are, you know, it, it's moving up. So the unimaginable delights are becoming even more unimaginably delightful, uh, while the unspeakable horrors are becoming more unspeakable. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's the nature of the addiction. Um, so we'll we'll come back to some of these issues in future podcasts. For now, the important thing is that I'm home and safe, you know, and it's one hour at a time. Uh, we're trying to get back to the one day at a time. I'm hoping that the dragon has been satiated for a while. So, and, and this time I really do have to try to write. I think that may, that may you know, shift the, 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 the cravings a little bit. Let's, but let's see. Uh, if I can, uh, I will write for myself at this stage, not for publication. Uh, for myself, you know, but the details that I can't include in these podcasts, you know. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's it for now from uh, uh, Agita and the two babies. Uh, bye for now, and I'm back. You know, I'm back. Yeah. Bye for now. <laughs>